Okay, so I yesterday I installed the pan underneath this door and I want to show you the purpose of this pan and how it works. If you if you just realize how important that is and that's where most common leaks are on a flat roof. Let me show you. So I put some more water here to make sure that you get the effect of a rain, right? And see what happens. Let me, I'm going to remove the door. And look here, look, water went underneath the door. This is super, super important here. If you don't have this properly done, water will seep downstairs or in your wall. See, the water comes in underneath that door and it comes out again, see? Very, very important. And the shingle roof. So this video is gonna help you to understand how to do this. This is one of the most important parts of a roof if you have a door i just removed the door now there must be a pan here a pan is where it sits underneath this door so this just sits on there if the wind blows the water will blow underneath this into your house here this is one of the most common problems on roofs with a deck and a door the leak is almost almost all underneath the door so the transition you need to make sure if water blows underneath here like this like there water can get in there <laughs> underneath so you need to protect that part of the roof in the old days they used to make a pan out of copper something like this and I, i'm not i don't have all the material to do a copper but it's something like this this is what they used to do okay and then <clears throat> That would be inside there. And then the copper will come over this. So when water comes in here, it can flow out again. That was the idea in the old days. And this should not be higher than the floor because you don't want to see it. This is the floor inside the house. I want to show you an easier way to do it. There's no need to do copper and soldering. I want to show you how easy it is to do. To make a pan so water cannot leak into the house, it's very simple. Take the turbo poly seal, you paint it in here, just like that. Right up to the board there, right there. So this is the floor of the inside of the house. And I'm going to cut myself a fleece, a little bit longer than what I want. And I put the fleece right in there. It goes up like that, in a corner, and up in the side here as well just like that see that you can cut it in a corner to make it a nice corner like you do like this like that you see that make that corner nice there you coat this again with a turbo just like that look how nice that is see that corner now I have to do this as well I'm gonna show you now coming over this plywood and over the roof here but this is now the inside part another place where water leaks if you don't have that, let me show you. Water will travel underneath this wood here. You see here? Water travels on both sides and it will go right here and right there. And it will fill up this pan. You cannot not have this. You have to have this. This is super, super essential. Now, if you make the pan, the water will sit there and wants to flow out again. This is very, very crucial here. Water would flow right into this corner. See where the membrane is? See that corner there? On the sides, right to this flashing, okay? So you need to make sure this is covered. So this is what I'm doing next. You paint this, and again, very important. This is one of the most important steps if you have a door. Like that, to make sure water, you can see the plywood, it always has a gap, and you, you're gonna have water leaking in there if you don't fix it, so. So I had to remove the, the siding. So I'm gonna put my fleece. Again, I'm cutting it a little bit longer. It's stored, yeah. Let's see where it's gonna go. So I'll put it there. So, like that, and like that. I'm covering everything. I would like to cover that corner there, right there where I cut it. See where I cut it? Like there. Make sure you cover everything where water can get in. Cut myself a piece. Something like that. See that? Beautiful. Now I know water cannot leak there. This completes the pan on the door. Sealed properly, it will never leak. Okay? Easy to do if you know how to do it. Tomorrow I will put the door back because I cannot put it back. It's wet now. It takes 24 hours and I'll put the door back and then you'll see. Water will get in underneath the door sill and it can come over onto the roof. That's important. Okay? And that's how you do a door pan. 